for the people following at home, because we're, you know, we, we like to include the viewer. And by we, I'm, I mean we, I mean, I'm, part, I'm part of this now. Um, I'm going to need you to go to your fridge or don't actually don't go to your fridge. Your fridge should not have alcohol in it. What are you doing? You should go to your liquor cabinet and pick the liquor of your choice. It better be over 40%. Mm. And you're going to pour yourself a drink every time the word preferred rifle or just preferred is stated. And when that word is stated, you take a sip, right? It's a drinking game. You can follow along at home. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Uh, we're not really a, a fan of saying the word. So, uh, yeah, come on, play along. Fun drinking game. Yeah, fun drinking game for the whole family, kids included. Great. <laughs> Jake, welcome back. Yes. Mr. Brassfax, welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm cold. Thanks for coming out today. Not coming out, coming out, but coming out to this. Oh, I, I came out. Today. Oh, cool. We're all Was coming it, out. Did Chris force it? Out? He... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, drew you out. <laughs> Buster laughs. Just drew you out. Yeah, it's. Uh, I it's, have that effect on men. It's. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm getting uh, a little steamy. Heat, a little, little steamy <laughs> around here. Before we get into what we're talking about today, which is our preferred rifle setup, um, Jake, housekeeping. Uh, what do we got? So we got uh, Peace of Mind Gun sponsoring the whole hot damn channel these days. A uh, bunch of good stuff that they cover from the Langdons and PWSs and LNTs and Noveskis and Qs and go down the freaking list, everyone. Uh, there's a code, it's uh, New Year 1911. It saves you 5% off of the site uh, only for January. So a little bit of urgency behind that. If you were gonna do something, I'd suggest do it. Um, I'm not gonna say take a guess at what your tax return check should be and spend that, but I'm just saying <laughs> if you were to do that, that is a, a route that you could go. Um, so we got that. Thanks to them. Uh, check them out. Peace of mind, guns, and then um, and then and then also uh, you know because this is the probably the first, we're doing two videos today, but um, this is the first one that you're in. So in the release should, schedule, yes. Yeah. So we should mention the Brass Facts channel. The Brass Facts channel. Yep. Yes. Do you want to mention yourself? Uh, so uh, it's the Ass Fact with the Brass Facts channel, and uh, yeah, that's it. What do you guys do? I uh, I sometimes I come out in the desert and shoot guns, and I don't have the self control not to post the videos. So there's a channel <laughs> now, and uh, uh, there's something wrong with people because they keep watching it. And uh, here we are uh, with fellow youth yes. guards in the uh, excuse in the, me in the deserts. Yeah, sir. I would never presume you to be from Arizona, yes. sir. You don't, you don't know what the stuff on the floor is. No. Just a bunch of coke. Cold. Just yeah. coke yeah. everywhere. Coke. Um, I'm not addicted. I just like the smell. Okay. So you want to talk about preferred yeah. rifles? You want to go first, Jake? Um, you prefer to go first usually, so I just assumed you would. So. Okay, sure. I can. I'll, I'll blow through it. So, so let's see. Let me. Uh, let me. Let me grab my rifle. Hey, there's a lot of preferred coming first. And coming blowing. first, blowing. Uh, <laughs> we're blowing through a lot of things today. What can I say? So let me tell you the lesson that I have learned going through the preferred rifle setup video. I don't have a preferred rifle <laughs> set up. I have figured out there is a, there's multiple things in each of the categories where I'm like, yeah, there's a few different things that I'm cool with. And I don't really care that much which combination of things are on a gun. Now, if I was building a gun from scratch is gonna be kind of the direction I would take this because this okay. is about the closest thing I've got to a preferred rifle setup. It, I think mainly we're gonna be talking about like kind of kidding them out, maybe even links, things like that, sure. right? Versus like a brand, like I don't really have a brand I'm attached to. Like th this is uh, is a Knight's Armament um, CQB, um, no, SR15 CQB, sorry, yeah. SR15 yeah. CQB Mod yeah. 2. 11.5, yeah. right, blank, blank. Are you, did you have a stroke? You just you, melting down. Are you still toast? Just that toast? melting down around here today, everyone. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna kinda, Aside from the Knights thing, this probably would be my still my go-to rifle that I would take. 11.5. For me, 11.5 is still my sweet spot. Okay. For me, my frame, right? I'm about 5.10, just as frame of reference. 11.5 um, to me is like the perfect zone, right? Are you really 5.10? Yeah, dog. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, even Buster's like, I'd say 5.8 and a half at the really most. This time of year. Yeah. Okay, it's everyone. a little colder now, so shouldn't it be a little colder? Right now, yeah, everyone kind of shrinks <laughs> when, it get, when it gets cold. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go, uh, I'll just kind of work, work my way through it. So, uh, real simple, stock, don't really have a preference. A few different things I could do. Uh, uh, SOP mod's probably the route that I'm gonna go. What we're gonna learn is that this preferred rifle setup is no preferred rifle for Jake. It's just a amalgamation, you like the word? 
of stuff that you use. Yeah, you're trying to sound smart. Yeah. I get what you're trying to do. It was good though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you Google that before smart. you came? No, I had to say it in my head like four times. Amalgamation, right? Yeah. 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 You know, note card. Amalgamation. Go ahead. Okay, stocks. Um, stock, uh, I'll, I'll probably take a, a Sotmont stock, uh, just cheek, cheek weld wise. Good uh, stocks. Best. Uh, the BCM one, not really my thing. Typically, mainly just because of how the QD uh, position is. Sure. It, it's weird. It kind of twists your QD around. Sure. It's kind of strange. I don't really understand that. Um, charging handle, uh, typically, this is actually from a company called Battle Arms. This would not be my preferred charging handle. It's fine. I would take a Radian uh, any day of the week. Radian's still going to be my Did pick. you not listen to the video at all? What, in terms of preferred <laughs> rifle setup? Well, I, I, you know, I thought about building out a rifle specifically that would fit the, the profile That here. was the premise of the video. Yeah. Is this your channel? I went a different what direction. What the fuck is going well, on? It's your channel. Okay. I went a different direction, okay? <laughs> okay. Which is we'll mine's just go more of a it. conversation, okay? okay? Go ahead, um, Jake. I want to see your dates. So, yeah, uh, safety. This is my preferred safety, actually, oh, no. as it turns out. This is a, a Radian Talon, and I like it. I like them set to 45 degrees. That's just me personally. Uh, trigger, I don't really give a shit. Oh, <laughs> my God. Um, a Geisley's great. I think Geisley's what are fantastic. Model, SSAE is typically okay. where I would go on that. Uh, I think yeah. it's a good trigger. Yep. Um, I like metal mags. That's really neither here nor there, but that's just me on that. I don't even typically run iron sights on guns anymore. Same. This one does have irons, but uh, this the front one you can't even flip up because it's blocked by a D ball. Um, you got to jettison your yeah. under D ball in the dirt. Yeah. Um, optic is a, a rare place where I actually have. If pressed, I go, okay, I do have a preference, which is I would like to have an aim point on a, on a Unity riser. Okay. That, that, that's my preference on that. I'm cool with an EOTech, but if pressed, I would say I would take an aim point largely just for battery life. Good. That's my, the, you know, and, and like just the clean, crisp dot, that bomb-proof durability. I go, yeah, I'm going to rock with an aim point. Sure. And I like the Unity mount and the, and, the, and the perk of the Unity mount for me, aside from I just overall like the, the, the ergonomics of it, is built-in backup um, irons if I didn't want to actually run them with my gun. It's like, cool, nice. at least I could have backup irons that are like, I don't, not good very far. They're but decent least, to 25 meters. Yeah, it's something, yeah. you know, it's something at the very least. Um, uh, this gun right now particularly, is, or right now is set up for um, night vision. This will get rotated out. Typically I wouldn't have a D-ball, um, but right now doing night vision stuff we do. Um, light, I have definitely discovered going through this. <sighs> this is a surefire, <laughs> so, in all fairness, this would definitely not be my preferred light. Dude, um, <laughs> I swear, you didn't listen to a fucking thing the video was supposed to be about. Yeah, and I came up with an idea, I think, which is even more insulting to everyone watching at home. Um, it has been 10 minutes, I understand. Yes. Um, I really like the Cloud Rain 2.0 micros. I'm a fan of those. I just don't really like the pressure pad. To me, that's the weak point. It's just kind of big and clunky. Um, uh, I, I really like Arisaka lights. I would say, if pressed, I would probably take Arisaka lights just because I do like that you can mix and match that with hey do you want to do a mod button or just a tail cap or whatever it's like you're not locked in to, un, unlike cloud where it's like well no you run this with our with our shit you know yeah and I think the output on the new Arisaka is with the rechargeables now it's really really good and I just think they're putting out really good shit and people kind of sleep on Arisaka a little bit. Sure. Like it's one of those where it's like, I think people kind of forget about Arisaka, but you're it's saying, really good you're shit. You think like an Arisaka with a Malkoff head or something yeah. like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Malkoff head, Arisaka body, um, you know, take your pick mm. on tail cap and then if you want to run a switch or, you know, like however you like to do it, you know, if you want a pressure pad. I'll say this, TBD, because don't really have an opinion yet, but HRT gear, has some lights they just came out with that I'm very intrigued. But oh, so, did you get one? It's, I have the nipple light. Yes. yes. Okay, so that thing. Not called I'm the digging. nipple light, but I'm yeah. digging that I mean, thing. He, said, he called it the nipple light on Instagram as well. Yeah. Or hey. I told him, and now he only refers it to me because like as the nip. He, well, he he keeps mentioning the name. I'm like, excuse me, and then he's like, fuck it, the nipple light. Oh yeah. Yeah. Man, yeah. yeah. Fair. Yeah. But that thing's from Valhalla Tactical. Tactical. It's and bright. It's bright as shit. It, to me, the only variable in that is I don't have enough time to know. Okay, is it reliable and solid in the circuitry and sure. all that kind of stuff? But if that is, I'm gonna be pretty in on those things. Yeah. Like I just, you know, I want to go through the paces a little bit here. Um, but and then can I don't really have a huge preference on can. <laughs> um, this is a Sandman S. Sandman I mean, it's not S a big is fun. For a can, you can just swap those, right? So yeah, um, you know, I run, and this is not because Chris is here. I I like running CGS stuff uh, quite a bit. 
Um, I still run Sandman's on a few things, but you know, I've got stuff from Knights and OSS and different sure. things, but you go, hey, generally speaking, I'm probably gonna run Dead Air or CGS, that's kind of where I lean. Cool. Um, PWS to come out with a good uh, can that I've been running as well. But, um, and then Sling would probably be the last thing I'd highlight. Um, we, you know, are pretty, uh, you Please know. Please tell me that is at least your preferred Sling. Yeah, yeah, okay. it, it is. Um, the only caveat is sometimes I run snap hooks. This is set up for two QDs. Um, I can go either way on that, but like, hey, you know, this is a, a slide tactical padded two point uh, QDs on both. Um, same on vert grip. I'm like, look, there's a lot of different vert grips that work. Like, there's very few that I don't like. Most of them are just like kind of fine for me. Um, this one's from Magpul. Usually I'll run either the BCM one that's kind of similar to this, or I like the Arasaka hand stop quite a bit too. Um, but yeah, so mine's pretty uh, unfucking eventful since I figured out that I'm a lot less decisive on preferred rifles than, than some people. So that's what I got. Yeah, I just felt like the whole point of the video is you had to be decisive. And yeah. although you yeah. went with the route of, I like everything, the whole yeah. idea was to narrow it down. Yeah. He's taking a dinner place with him. <clears throat> a nightmare. I imagine. Yeah, no. and when he's on a diet, it's even worse. Yeah. That's true. That's yes. true. Yeah. Do you understand the course of fire? I do. Okay, shooter ready. Stand by. Before we get back to talking about preferred rifles just some quick plugs to keep the lights on here people are so mad that we're doing this right now but we do have to uh pay our bills so uh we have patreon that's a great place you could support the channel give us your money um we've got a bunch of different tiers where you're entered into giveaways we do have private classes we're going to be doing next year not taught by us but actual like legit people um but it's only open to its private class socialize at night shoot during the day we've got that zippos patches all kinds of cool stuff on that if you need real estate help, let us know. For some reason, I just got out of breath. I don't know why. Um, but we've got real estate uh, business. That's just 1911syndicate.com. You can go learn about that, what we do and what we don't do uh, in terms of what you need in real estate. And uh, then we got merch and shit like that on the site. With that said, let's talk about some rifles. Cool. Brass facts, you want to go over yeah, yours? Well, yeah, yeah, I can. Cool. I, I brought the stick with me here today. <laughs> So yeah, this is my uh, preferred my, setup. My preferred setup. Okay. This is what I would go go for. Your when preference. I, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I believe there was a brief we got talking about bringing our preferred. Many days in advance of today, we were briefed many a times about bringing a setup that might be called preferred. Correct. If anything. Yes. Correct. So no this. No one told me. Okay. Yeah. No one told me. Sit in the corner. So okay. this. Is, yes. So um. Nuts to butts. Throw yeah, it up. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nut, nut to butt, ass to ass to tip. Tip to tip. Tip to tip to ass. So uh, I got a, a fairly similar setup to the uh, the last rifle. We got a dead ma dead air salmon S as well. Mine's been um, shot, yeah, sm a lot, smoked uh, a little bit. It's, I like uh, seen it. A little, little beat to shit. Uh, no, no particular preference for why I ended up with a salmon S. Back in the day, everyone said go buy salmon S, so I bought a salmon S. It's a bit heavy, but it's certainly they durable, yeah. and it's it's worked. Would I do it again? I don't, know. I don't really do too much research in cans, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's it's served me well. I'm a big fan of 11.5 as well, so I ended up at 11.5. Nice. And uh, it's just a good length with a suppressor for things, right? I agree. Yep. Uh, Twelve five is pretty damn cool when you you know you compare velocity numbers and you're like, well, if I you know carry the one and, blah, 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 and look at all that stuff. But there's a lot of reliability issues that sometimes come in, and a lot of the time it's like, yeah, it works great, but and mm. then you know you talk about you know weird the gas butt. lengths. And, <clears throat> yeah, you talk about a lot of butts, um, and you know we like butts here, but sometimes sometimes too many butts. So that's my can. I always run it suppressed. Uh, As Reese, you should. Yep. You're a civilized gentleman. And a scholar, um, in theory at least. I recently actually burnt out my barrel, so I just replaced the barrel, so I'm, I'm figuring out things with this. Uh, hopefully it'll work out in the long run. Uh, light happens to be one hell of a combo. It's an Arasaka body. So I, I brought okay. that for you. As yeah, okay. It's also my preferred, uh, preferred okay. light setup. Damn right. Actually, no, it was, a, it was an Arasaka body and a mod light head, yeah. but then at some point in the painting process, the head switched location. So now it's an Arasaka body with a Malkoff OKW on top. And there's another light somewhere else that is a mod light body with a- uh, Arasaka head? I believe so at least, yeah. or, uh, I think. Nice. Yeah, so it's, cool. a, it's, a, it's an interesting- You got it set up on a pressure pad too, I see. Yeah, yeah, so uh, pressure pad over here. Um, running a uh, full power- A2. A2, nice. yeah. Just because that was uh, what I could get at the time. No particular affinity 
Actually, I do prefer this over the large baby of a laser called a PEC-15 that you have to put up here. This is a little smaller, so I prefer something like this. I have it here. Let's get this in a safe direction. I have it intentionally set up such that the laser is easily accessible and the light requires a very conscious contortion Smart. to get to because I'm very um, so you don't have anal a white light ND. White light ND. Perfect. That is not my preferred um, no, situation. I don't prefer that. You either. might. Prefer, I, don't, I don't know if. It, Look, I'm <laughs> off today, so <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I like. I'm sorry, Jake. Are we teasing you too much? <laughs> I'll back off. No. If you're having a bad day. I feel bad now. I'll cry the way. It's like when I talk shit to my wife. You know. Are you upset? No. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the setup here. Uh, a lot of times I used to run buttons, but we've gone to the tape switch. I'm running a angled BCM grip. I've been told many times it's in the wrong direction that's and so that I should stupid. just uh, just end it all right here, right now. But That's uh, the direction I like to run it, because when it's the other way, well, it aesthetically it, looks stupid. It looks stupid as shit. Yeah. Yeah, but apparently like you're you wrong. A, it looks like you have a bend in your penis when it's the other way, you know? Oh. Yeah, that's no. a very, very descriptive. No, uh, I don't know no? how we got to that oh, place. Just saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's being a reoccurring theme today. But uh, yeah, the rifle itself, I guess I should mention that. Uh, yeah. It's a it's a rifle. I, it, it was an arrow upper at one point. Now it's an arrow upper, just literally just the upper at this point, not BCG. The barrel's a BA something or another. And then that gets us to the... Uh, the BCG, just a bootleg BCG. I like my good BCGs. I, I look, I like my adjustable things, and that really, you know, that sums up most of the heart of the rifle. Spikes like, lower. Yeah, some spikes lower because that was all the rage back in 2016. Yeah. You know, they'd fill it in with nail polish sure. and stuff. Um, this one's got the honey badger on it and stuff. Whatever. I've just had it for a cool. long time. Um, so you put the Ambi mag release on too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have Ambi safety, Ambi mag release, and that's that gets me through the day. I can generally run a rifle without Ambi controls, but you know, on my Prefer, preferred, preferred, preferred setup. Preferred. I, I generally like to add accoutrements, if you will, to make a life a little more easy, as well as a ambi charging handle. Also, this Which is, is what is that your preferred charging handle? Yeah, in fact, it is. Yeah, I it's, think it's also Jake's. Oh, is it? But he didn't you have, have that wait, on his have, rifle. You have preferences? Sometimes. Okay. okay. Sometimes not today. Apparently, <laughs> YouTuber comes on other YouTubers' channels, shits, shits all over his face, shits all over him, and then leaves. <laughs> oh Christ. Um, I mean, it, it's not really an excited rifle. I just put a lot of stuff on it and I uh, and I shoot it. For the optic, I am a magnification or bust, no matter what. And we cool. do a lot of busting. Of it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so uh, I'm a big fan of this because it's very good 1X performance and I get magnification. Not too dissimilar to how you would say view a red dot magnifier, right? Sure. Good 1X performance, you get magnification as a bonus. This sure. has slightly better magnification, slightly worse 1X. It's a trade off. Yep. And uh, that's the four power, right? I yeah, that's the other side. Yeah, yeah. it's it's, it's, it's the four power. power. So I'm a big four. fan of this one because you can just leave it on for like three months at full power, right? LPVOs, huh. you turn it on, um, and then you know you go get your your Maverick burrito from the car, and it's dead. And dead. and it's dead. Yeah. Uh, this this will last a significant amount of time. Cool. And that more or less. Oh, I got an MBT trigger because it sounds like a tank, so it's really cool. MBT? It's also yeah MBT trigger from yeah, Larue. Oh, from LaRue. Okay. From LaRue. I don't think I've ever shot this, actually. Yeah, so that's, um, uh, it's a really good trigger. I would technically prefer a Geisley trigger, but, you know, sometimes money is, money is Money a, is money. Money is a thing. And that, that more or less is it, right? It's, it's not in a, you know, a, a fancy rifle, pr I mean, it's, it's got a lot of fancy bullshit on it, but, you know, it's my rifle, it's my preferred rifle even, and uh, it's kind of what I would go for. So this is how I would set it up. In fact, there's another rifle lying right over there. Almost identical. Almost identical, yeah. because I, I actually do, to a lot of people's disgust, uh, uh, I, I do actually like having rifles set up in a very consistent sure. manner. And actually, because I'm a YouTuber, I'm, I'm a big fan of not fucking with this rifle because I'm gonna review a lot of different weapons. Uh, but I always want to come home, you know, to this. So this is how it's I It's good and set up, zeroed, good to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, what, we'll do, what we'll do sometimes is we'll try to have like that gun. For me, it's my PWS that it's like, this is like my bastard gun that like I rotate optics, like mm -hmm. different shit and just like, that's like my beta test gun. Mm -hmm. yep. And I got my shit where it's my preferred rifle, except all my preferred rifles are set up different. Mm. Um, but you know, that's how I do. That's how cool. I do. That's how I do. Cool. We'll just jump right into mine, my preferred setup. Um, I think I got a pretty good track record of running full length rifles. This is my 16 inch SR15 uh, Mod 2 from Knight's Armament. 
I like full length rifles. Uh, a lot of people are like, well, what about CQB and what about this? I'm like, I run this and shoot houses just fine. And you know, if you know how to run the gun, then it's not really that, that big of an issue. And it does help when you have like, you know, a six, eight wing span. I was gonna say, like so. you got a wingspan. Yeah. I, yeah. I think length is more of like a, like a ballast at the front. And does this man look like he, he's got, he's having <laughs> right. issues moving yeah. this thing around. He's, yeah. he's doing just fine. Which uh, we'll just go from the tip here. Um, CGS Helios direct thread. I prefer to direct thread my cans on my preferred rifle. Um, That's what that I would do if I could do it again. Yeah. Um, my preferred suppressor wrap is Liberty's Defense. If you're gonna buy any suppressor wraps, you're an idiot if you don't buy this, just saying. Um, my preferred lights, mod lights. And even in like end of the world, we can have some solar chargers to recharge those. I was kind of on the fence of going with my Arasaka or mod light, but I think maybe it's just the brand I like a little bit more, like the track record's a little bit more there. I just personally feel a little more confident with mod lights than Arasaka's, even though I have no data to say one is better than the other. I just, on my preferred rifle, prefer a mod light. Okay. Okay. My preferred mount also is an Arasaka mount though. They got so. the dope mounts, man. They got great yeah. mounts. Um, as far as preferred method of operation, I prefer clicky caps. Um, we've all heard stories about the pressure pads failing. Like, look, I get it. We're not overseas, right? It doesn't really matter. We play dress up in the desert. But I still just like clicky caps yeah. because I have to do a conscious decision to activate that light or not, yeah. right? Um, typically, and we're switching out some night vision stuff. Uh, we actually, this week is when we release our first night vision content. Right, this mm -hmm. week that we're filming, yeah, yeah. yesterday was our first night vision video. Mm -hmm. um, I would have a D-Bow on there because that's what I've been running, but we're uh, getting sent out a new uh, laser from US Night Vision, uh, potentially an NGAL and potentially a MAL. So cool, cool. we'll see with that. My preferred laser, uh, if I had to choose one, because I've run them, would be an NGAL. So right on. yeah, for sure. Um, Prefer grip panels. I really like the uh, mm. these Magpul ones. They yeah. just click in. You can get like six of them for eight dollars. Can I tell you something? So yeah, that's also my preferred grip panel. Oh, is it? Yep. Oh, because it was, was on it? your gun. It is on my gun. That's right there. Yeah. Ah, I got you. Got you. Oh, it, well, it is. It actually is. It is. No, it is. Yeah. yeah. I have a preference. Yeah. Okay. And it's the Magpul grip panels. Okay. I endorse him. Good job, Jake. Okay. Hey. That's gonna move the needle right there. <laughs> Uh, preferred hand stop for me, this is Driven Arms Co. You can buy them from Driven or uh, Revival Defense sells these also. Okay. They're just 3D printed little polymer hand stops. Uh, I really like them. It's very comfortable for like the meaty part of your palm. Never even heard um, of that. Yeah, I mean, I, this has been on this rifle for over a year now. Oh, so, easily. so what does that tell you? So that it's you just... don't pay a single ounce of attention. Bingo. <laughs> Gosh. Um, <laughs> my preferred uh, sling mounts are the Reptilia Core little sling mounts that That's are snazzy. super, yeah. super streamlined, super angled. It, it puts your, uh, your QD in like a good, nice streamlined. You put that in a wind tunnel spot. and probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It's aerodynamic. And, instead of sitting out 90 degrees, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's nice and slick. And, I think it's pretty neat. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Usually this, I like to run, my preferred method of setup for, for slings is as far forward as I can. Yeah. But when the D ball's there, it gets in the way. And so I had to scoot it back a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Moving on back, preferred optic. Uh, my preference for a riser right now is Unity Tactical. Uh, there's a couple other that I've been playing with and I have some on the way from um, Raidworks. Yeah, yeah, it's a hot topic. So there's a couple different options out there, guys. I, I like Unity, I'm gonna play with the Raidworks one. As far as optics itself, um, much like you, my preferred is a solid red dot, good reliability, good battery life. For a long time, that's been the aim point T1, T2. I mean, we can all agree they're just bomb proof. Yeah. I bought my first Leupold probably five, six years ago. We've seen it a bunch of footage. This is my fourth Leupold uh, LCO. And actually I bought this from Hop and I specifically put it on this rifle because he was supposed to be here today. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not. That's a, so, it's a shame because he really bummer. likes the LCO. Like yeah. it's his gotta be one of his favorite optics. He hates it. <laughs> he hates it so hates fucking it. much. Which is why he sold it, but I bought it. And uh, this is Hop's uh, LCO. I bought it from him. Uh, I absolutely love LCOs. I think they're just as robust. Uh, legit dudes run them. Battery life is phenomenal. Shake wake feature. Good crisp red dot, even with an astigmatism. It's probably it one of the- crisp red dot. I'd say it's on yeah. par with the T2, T1. Yeah, I mean, it's it crisp. Really, it really is a nice so, shot. Um, and then the shake wake feature is nice because I have my first one, I replaced the battery for the first time like 
testing it after like three to four years of, of use. And a lot of use, we shoot a lot. Solid. So uh, moving back, my preferred, yeah. <coughs> preferred charging handle. This one is not even a Radian. This is the AXTS oh, Raptor. Yeah. Hey, me too. Yeah. Oh, you got a Raptor from AXTS? I'm see. pretty sure, unless it's on the other rifle. Who knows? No, I think that's a radio. Oh no, that's a, yeah, radio. It's a radio. Okay, it's the other rifle that that has yeah, the. So, so I have I have three AXTS uh, charging handles that I just put on my preferred rifles. Okay. So you don't see them a lot because they're on my preferred rifles. Yeah. Um, right. But this is you know Radian is the artist formerly known as AXTS. So this yeah. is the Raptor charging handle. Just you know. Uh, before they changed You bought things. it back in the day, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So I, that's where I got yeah. mine as well. So my first rifle. So uh, as far as furniture for for a rifle, my preferred furniture is BCM. I'll switch all my furniture out to BCM stuff, except for if it is a toss up between like a you know these SOP mod stocks or BCM. I am going to go with the SOP mod. I do like the BCM, but as far as like a, a hold, I'm going BCM. Uh, this is the. Uh, what is it, the Mod 3 Motto? BCM Mod 3 Motto? They have weird names for their shit, yeah, but um, that's what we got. As far as trigger, I have two preferred triggers, either the stock Knight's Armament trigger, which this is. Really? Yeah, no. because it's same pull weight and feel as a Geisley SSAE. And this has been verified, yeah. yeah. Um, if I had to choose a Geisley, it's probably SSA or AE, between those two. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, springs, my preferred uh, recoil springs is, of course, what? Springco? There you go. Good job, Jake. Springco extra power because I, I, I he does love you. Yeah. Spring Springco extra power because I the only, only spring company I know. So yeah. it was by default. Really. I forgot the name and was hoping one of you guys would pick up. Yeah. And yeah. Good job, Jake. Yeah. Um, but I do run Springco springs and all my guns, especially suppressed, because they can withstand the abuse. Mm -hmm. And then again, back to stocks, uh, Sop Mod stocks. Yeah. yeah. For the cheek weld. Uh, mm -hmm. And then again, obviously it's no brainer. Best slings on the market. Um, your sling is nice, and I like those guys over there. Sly would destroy. Oh, I completely him. forgot so, about the mention the sling. Yeah, I really, I really. You had a flatline fiber co sling, yeah, and yeah. great guys over there. They sent me a dump pouch recently, okay. which I'm I've been running uh, just on my own and really like it. But uh, yeah, my I, I my preferred the... sling is a Sly Tactical two point okay. padded. So nice. my preferred setup here. Um, some people say like why the length because I can. <laughs> it's, a, um, it's a pretty good reason. Yeah, usually, because yeah. I can. But also I would rather have. Camera's getting a little squirrely. <laughs> I'd rather have extra length if I can run it, right? Yep. Um, and then as far as uh, like uh, a magnifier, I don't have enough time behind magnifiers to know if I prefer them or not. But typically on a setup like this, especially a longer rifle, you'd want a magnifier. I just didn't feel comfortable saying I prefer it that way because I just ha don't have enough time. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is my ideal rifle setup. Okay. So. Legit. You could say I prefer it. Yeah, yeah. So. By the way, if you do take a shot. Uh, every time the word preferred is said, um, you're gonna be drunk. Show oh, us, show good. us the results, please. You're gonna if, be you, drunk. if you're still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, I think uh, you know we all have our different tastes and flavors. You guys are uh, kind of similar. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, similar. Minus the optic. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm less uh, less into the magnified thing. Mm. Yeah, you're good with uh, even with eye relief on those L cans. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's slightly less than most LPVOs, sure. significantly more than an ACOG. So sure, it's, yeah, it's uh, I think it's all right. And I, I mean, the footage shows from our next training video too that uh, I mean, you can run that thing too. So sort of, yeah, yeah it, was, it was all right. <laughs> you're, you're a good shooter, man. So cool. I think that's it, Jake. Other than uh, if you want to talk about our boys over at Firearms Legal Protection, uh, which you need to talk to, tell him why <laughs> he needs to talk to him, Jake. Okay, so scenario. Chris was behind the camera, right now comes at you with a hammer, okay? A hammer, okay? okay. You take your preferred rifle set up and just mag dump them, right? Yeah. We leave the body, okay? okay? You need the mid-tier, you okay. need the mid-tier mid -tier, 22 definitely. bucks a month, just yep. code 1911, you plug it in and get you to 22 bucks a month, Yep. right? They will send someone out here to excavate his body back to the city. Since he's tiny it'll be quick but yes. they do it yeah. yeah the whole mag dump could be problematic in court sure um, but unlimited court fees lawyer fees all that shit covered and again um and then if you know a new videographer then what we would just go down that path okay kind of do, do they cover the videographer as well or i'm gonna no? have to call on that okay we will look into that, that one yeah. i hope they don't <laughs> 
What if they do? <laughs> Eesh, Don't come day. at your boy with a hammer. <laughs> Don't come at your boy with a hammer yeah. is what we learned so. from this. So anyway, you can check that out. Yeah, in all seriousness, if you need concealed carry insurance, firearms legal protection, they'll take care of you. They have plans that you can travel with too. I travel a lot for work, so it's nice. Uh, my wife is also covered under the top tier program. And uh, I think that's it, man. You got anything else you want to you wanna plug? Where can people find you? Uh, I think it's this, there's this channel called um, uh, YouTube.com. And uh, if you spend enough time on it, you'll see one of my uh, creations. And uh, I, I'm in those creations, and you can watch those videos on <laughs> assfacts.com. Perfect. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. You have the mandate of the people. I will say that. That is how we <laughs> yeah. heard about you when we did, or we put out the bat signal and we said, hey, who's everyone's favorite gun tube channels right now? And we got a lot of brass the, facts. You had the mandate of the people, and I was like, well, son of a bitch, we need to, to look into that. Yeah. And yeah. next thing you know. Yeah, look at us. Yeah, the three best friends yeah. that anyone oh, yeah. could ever have. That anyone could yeah. ever there would have been a fourth, but there he decided been a not to show friend, up. But uh, so. hurt my feelings a little bit. But it's okay. All so. right. Well, thanks, let's guys. Wrap it up. We'll see you guys next time. Yep.